Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, but it would really, really help me out in where I am trying to get my channel to be. OK, let's start with the clip. Thank you very much for being here. And that means that you are very, very interested in this product. OK, so it's ultra shiny, looks a little bit like a silver gold bar, but this one is from Amazon. I paid £10 for this. Why, you may ask? It's a hair tonic spray. It is called Hair Booster Plus Hair Serum. So it's that tonic sort of uh, health, mm, health come tonic sort of boost of vitality for the scalp and the hair, primarily for thin, fine, thinning hair. Do I have fine, thin, thinning hair? No, but I do have fine hair. I have a rather a lot of it, but... <sighs> Prevention is always better than cure. So I have fine hair, I have a rather a lot of it, but I always like to explore with different products which can help you have the thickest, fullest, healthiest head of hair. That's why I am reviewing this product today, and that's why part of my interest, which I really, really love to do on my channel, I receive so many amazing comments, so many amazing views and subscribers, so thank you very, very much for all of that. It means a huge amount to me from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. But it's a huge interest of mine, because I have fine hair, and not just that, I have a huge interest in hair and hair care, and looking after sort of thin hair and making the most of what you have and uh, I just really really love to try all different products and, and see how how different ones make your hair appear thicker if it appears fuller what it can offer you and I love to report that then on my channel and I have so many amazing questions and my subscribers as I say um, I do get a really amazing question so I try to come back as uh, quickly as I can um, but that that is why so very often you will find new clips me bringing to bringing to uh, my channel of reviewing products and me telling you my experience with them because of course i always find that it's with so many products out there now which for which even when i was growing up small there's there's literally so much more that you can pick now for your hair and it's changing all the time so what i love to do is review a product and if i love it shout about it okay um i'm not represented by any of these brands at all um very often i do have a quick look through on amazon if there's any different products and things in terms of fine or thinning hair and making the most hair of what you have um and we came across this one so let's have a look so hair booster hair serum so it has inside it caffeine biotin inulin horsetail extract, ginseng extract, and arginine. It's 100 mils, now I paid 10 pounds for this. Um, first things first, packaging, pretty snazzy, pretty modern, looks really cool. Um, I would certainly purchase this if I seen this in a store or on a store shelf. Really very much like it. The one thing I don't like about it straight away is the name. I really thought, sorry, you can see the reflection on it, can't you? I really thought it would have a little bit more of a better name. It's just got hair. Hair Booster Plus. And then it's got hair serum straight around underneath. So is it a booster? Is it a serum? And that's what really found me quite interesting. There's a few good reviews. There is a one or two negative reviews. Um, but ultimately what this spray is, you use it twice or three times a week um, on your scalp, throughout your hair, just to kind of um, revitalize and to naturally, and we're going to go into that in a moment because that's the words they use, naturally uh, get a hold of hair fall, excessive hair fall, breakage, and just really boost that vitality and health in the scalp and hair. Now, on the back, which I've noticed, which is never ever a good idea, um, and how, how, how it's happened, I do not know, there are, there are a couple of spelling mistakes or so, or sort of grammar, yeah, probably spelling grammar when uh, when you're selling a product surely that must be the one thing which you have to have correct and not even necessarily grammar because of course you can you you see all sorts of sort of um sort of funky sort of uh play, play, sort of play on words with sort of grammar and things like that don't you but spelling yeah so that that was a look quite a big negative for me absolutely um but moving on so on the back here it says the exceptional formula for damaged and weakened hair strengths the roots and prevents hair loss naturally hmm yeah um a little bit weird <laughs> but there we go but what i just want to take a moment just to appreciate inside this product as well is so first things first is a product is caffeine now anybody who knows caffeine based products is uh caffeine is thought to believed to keep hair stimulated energized healthy and to keep it growing 
there is a lot of belief that caffeine can help with thinning hair. I always think that if you are starting to use a caffeine-based product from a completely bald head or a very problematic hair loss uh, scalp, you will not see the benefit. Caffeine-based products are, as soon as you see a difference in your hair, you have to then start using a caffeine-based product because what it does, it does not regrow hair at all. It tries to stimulate and keep hair energized but of course it's all down to the quality of the ingredients as well so it freezes that effect of what thinning hair does to our scalp um, just a little bit of science behind that we all have testosterone in our body dht is the byproduct of testosterone dht is that horrible sort of gremlin which shrinks and 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 basically starves the hair follicle over time making hair appear grow thinner and thinner as it goes through the cycle and then eventually unfortunately when it can't support the hair anymore it doesn't grow theoretically that's where the hair loss comes from so caffeine really really good for that biotin biotin is a strange one because of course biotin is in so many hair products to give the illusion of thick full hair it makes the hair feel fuller with texture it makes the hair stand away from the scalp stronger um so biotin is really really great for trying to create thicker hair however it's a cosmetic effect so as soon as you wash your hair it's disappeared it's gone um so but fantastic for having and of course creating that thicker appearing hair so really really good Horsetail extract, to be very honest, I don't know too much about. I do know that that is in a few hair loss products. And I think there is something which I have read about um, in the past. Again, a similar effect of like caffeine has on that sort of... Um, on that sort of breaking down of the molecule which causes thinning i i believe i hold my hands up if i'm wrong i believe there is an element um which may be linked to have the same sort of effect so of course again known for hair hair problematic scalps um thinning hair that type of thing so really good in here ginseng extract i know absolutely gives energy to hair um it's in lots of hair related products as well and of course arginine is in a lot of skincare products we were boasting energy um and giving energy sort of life health to hair as well so all trying to really push that vitality of health through this product so let's open it let's have a look at the product a little bit more now so it's in this bottle so it's in a spray bottle and i have been using the product and i can just show you that we are as you can see it moving on the camera here we're about here now on the front you've got a little bit more information so formula contains we've got a hair booster plus which is caffeine biotin inulin uh, holster extract ginseng extract and arginine on the back here we have got the exceptional formula for damaged and weak hair strengths i don't know why why they've used that word the roots and prevents hair loss naturally now this is my whole sort of bugbear with this prevents hair loss naturally hair loss is natural isn't it? Hair loss to me is natural. Um, anything which happens like that is natural. We can use we can use products, we can use supplements, we can change our lifestyle, we can make ourselves more healthy. That helps, but hair loss natural. Um, I have to admit, I'm a little bit confused around that whole sort of area when they say that. Um, I would not have used that term. I don't like that term. I have to admit. Um, yeah. I'm not sure on that and prevents hair loss naturally my only sort of thinking behind that is that the products inside here help this scalp um naturally sort of repair um strengthen itself against hair loss that's the only thing i can really think of to be honest so that natural process so this product helps the natural process of sort of toning down hair loss and hopefully uh, stopping and reducing hair loss that's what I'm thinking. Let's move on. The active substance hair booster plus contains. Now, forgive me for this because it's really quite small. And if my pronunciation is incorrect, I do apologize. Epignion and oleolic acid to form two powerful functions that target the main areas of hair loss. The combination of other ingredients like caffeine, biotin, inulin, horster extract, ginseng extract and arginine visibly strengthen the roots and make hair look beautiful and healthy. Okay, so it's not actually telling us what's in the hair booster, but which is a shame. It's got those two words which we which we spoke about. I'll be honest, haven't got a clue what they are. I've tried a lot of hair products for fine hair and thinning hair, never ever come across that at all. Um, and of course, We've mentioned the ingredients which have got on here, so the caffeine, biotin, and everything what we've mentioned. So let's have a look at what the results are, and I'll tell you if it works or not. So results. Stimulate the hair growth. Prevent hair loss, there's that word again, naturally. 
Um, improve hair condition and appearance. The hair becomes visibly thicker and stronger, full of vitality and shine. And here's where how it tells you how to use. So shake well before use. Take off the secure cap and spray into the hair roots. Gently massage into the scalp. Do not rinse. Apply three to four times a week and then at least once a month and for at least sorry once a month uh, one month and then once a week to sustain the effects. Do not use if you are sensitive to any of the ingredients. Okay. A high content of natural extracts can cause sediment. Okay. So I don't know if you can see that, but it's sort of like a ever so light sort of green sort of uh, colour. It's got a real pleasant smell, real pleasant smell, quite floral, um, quite sort of almost as though you're out sort of and it's rained and you've been near trees and that type of smell, if you get what I mean. So really quite a nice, fresh sort of smell. Doesn't make your hair appear thicker. When I use this, and I've been using this for coming up to a month now, I've only actually used it twice a week because I'm using different products as well. I've only used this twice a week. See no need to use it for a third time. Now, the thing which I wanted to use it for is, as you can see, I've got highlighted hair. I wanted to use this just to keep the strands of the hair healthy and strong. And I just noticed, by the way, you can see that this looks longer than the other. It's actually not. It's just that because there's a darker piece of hair and because I've got the camera here, <laughs> but I've just explained that because I've got the camera here. It um it looks like I've got one side longer than the other, but I I can assure you I haven't. I haven't got a done haircut. I can assure you, I'm doing no home haircuts. Um, although I am good. I have to admit I am. <laughs> and you have to have confidence in yourself, don't you? Um, but the effect which I found of this is it really did moisturise the lengths of the hair, particularly the blonde areas. It really did have an injection of sort of hydration, which I really really liked. And that's only twice a week. And what I done is I sprayed it all throughout the roots, then I drenched the hair and then brushed it through. And I done that twice a week. Um, and we're just coming up to the end of the month now whilst I've been doing it. And I have noticed the slight difference in the strength of my hair. I have to admit, um, styling my hair with it. I would say no, because I found that it did leave my hair a little bit greasy in the roots, which made it really quite difficult to dry off. It made it quite a lot longer. So predominantly for this, after you've washed your hair of an evening, if you're going to wash your hair of an evening, um, then spray this through. Um, and it does look after the lengths of the hair. Does it make my hair feel any thicker or fuller? I haven't noticed an effect of making my hair feel thicker or fuller. And how about the reduction in hair loss? It's difficult to know. I think it's far too soon within one month. Um, if anybody followed my Viviscal journey, which is a hair growth supplement program, um, it takes a long time to notice difference in your hair. Um, minimally, they say three months. So a month is far too early. For me, on the Viviscal, I took that way up. Um, I think it was nearly over, nine and a half months in the end. Um, and we've seen great vast change and I, I've seen vast change even can you see the actual amount of root regrowth and that's through Viviscal but through this um I'll be honest no I don't think I have it improves the condition of my hair um in terms of the length and because it's highlighted but a miracle product for hair loss no but however having said that I do like it would I buy it again yes I would because it really does condition the hair it really does make it feel really quite nice um, and it does look after the the hair doesn't make it feel thicker now if I was to use and use and use and use this for months and months and months um, we may see an effect but I'll be quite honest with you I'm not prepared to I'm not prepared to um, just because it's a it's a it's a good product is it a quality good product? Out of 10, I'd say a 5, 6. I like it. I don't like it enough, I'm afraid, to continue using it. Um, I will finish what I have. I will finish what I have left. Um, but other than that, I wouldn't buy it again. I have to admit. I have to admit. Um, I hold my hands up there and I do apologise. But I would certainly recommend it for you to try because at the end of the day, you may well see much more added benefits yourself. Um, so really, really do give that a try. It's on Amazon, um, Amazon here in the UK, and I've purchased that for £10. I just put it back in the box here so you can see. So it comes in this box, really good quality packaging, and there's not too much to complain about it. But apart from it, it didn't really make my hair feel thicker, but it did look after the lengths of my hair. So ultimately, I'm happy. Ultimately, I'm happy with it. Okay, thank you very, very much for watching my clip today. I really, really hope you've enjoyed that. I certainly have. And until next time, we will see you then. Bye-bye now.